live in Wallaroo. We live by the sea. Wallaroo is home to a great sailing club and guess what? We sail in Wallaroo. Most of the time it is windy enough to go sailing. We like to think that we are going green by using a boat without fuel. Running machines without fuel is our future. We know that because there is only a certain amount of fossil fuels and after we use it all, we won't regenerate for a very, very long time. We like to think that while sailing, we are reducing the carbon footprint because this type of boat uses the wind as fuel, not fossil fuels. So have you ever wondered why some sailing boats go faster than others? One of the main formulas for working out the likely performance of a boat is the displacement slash length ratio. The formula for calculating the displacement slash length ratio is D slash bracket O dot O one L bracket three, where D is the boat displacement in pounds and L is the waterline length in feet. This equation is only true if it is imperial. That is why boat length is converted into imperial measurement. So the lower D slash L ratio vessel will have a lower resistance to forward motion than the higher D slash L ratio vessel and will be quicker as a result. That's a long-winded way of saying that the greater the mass, the greater the power required to shift it. The power is, of course, derived from the force of the wind acting upon the sails and the greater the sail area, the greater the power produced for a given wind strength. Well, that reminds me, we have something called the sail area slash displacement ratio. To then find the boat's SA slash D ratio, just divide its sail area in square feet by its displacement in cubic feet taken to the two thirds power. The intention is to tell us the boat's power potential under sail D, in a sense the amount of sail area in proportion to the vessel's displacement. So if you had, let's say, an 18 foot skiff with a relatively massive sail area and a light hull, it can do speeds over 35 knots. This is an example of a high sail area such displacement ratio. So if you were sailing the HMS Endeavour with Captain Cook, you would need a typhoon to get it going at 35 knots because the HMS Endeavour is a low sail area displacement ratio. On sailing boats, the angle of sails are very important. Maybe I should teach you more about those angles. There are so many angles on the sails, so have you ever wondered why complete turn is 360 degrees? 360 can be divided evenly by 23 different numbers. More about those angles now. Angles are classified according to their size. Angles are everywhere. Almost everything has an angle somewhere. And you just have to search. So next time you go and watch sailing boats or even see one, look for those angles. They are very, very important because they catch the wind. And if the sails didn't have angles, then the boat won't move, meaning the boat won't catch the wind. Have you ever been to the sea with its glorious sandy beaches and giant tides? Actually, talking about tides reminds me of maths. Did you know that all you need is Newton's equation for gravitation to calculate how high the tides are? Newton's equation for gravitation is... Gravity depends on maths such as moons, planets and you to work and pull objects around towards you. A molecule of water is an ocean that is directly below where the moon is in the sky is about 6,437 kilometres closer to the moon's mass than the centre of the Earth. By the way, each time the moon is overhead, you have also been attracted upward by the moon as well as downwards by the Earth. It actually changes your weight. Isn't that amazing? But only by a really, really tiny amount. Your scale weight decreases by about a one hundredth of a gram. So, there you have it. We like to think that we have harnessed the wind with our sailing boats and that we can create a better future by using the wind and not fossil fuels. We need to work together to create a better green future, a future run by wind and solar. And remember that we can make the future bright by using maths because maths is our future.